stop the quarter fix today. I have a problem with uh, Volkswagen Passat B6, that's 2006 model. The problem I have with this car here is intermittent. The shifter is not going to shift out of park into reverse. So it's not going to shift out of this very place. I, most of the time, since it's actually the lock. Uh, the lock switch that has a problem but even when you control it manually there is another problem you come over here you're not seeing the park reverse neutral drive here so in as much as you're not seeing it it means the TCM is offline so I decided to check the fuses here or the fuse here and the fuse at the other side and the and they are all intact now some other things which I noticed here, I noticed that uh, the TCM is around this area so I decided to pull out the tire and that is TCM right there, it's been secured in place by two 10mm bolts up here. Now my discovery here is the two power feed that actually supply this TCM here is the brown wire which is always the ground then the other one there is the green and black wire. I've been trying to get my hands on the wiring diagram for this very model but I couldn't get it, I couldn't find it because I need to know the reference voltage is supposed to be taken here. There is a problem which makes me to suspect that this uh, you the no communication, uh, no communication with the ECU is what I'm trying to solve here. So now that I have the ignition on, if you test between these two power here which is the the green wire with the black tracer and the solid brown wire which is supposed to be normally supplying 12 volts it's actually going to bring 12 volts as it is right now but as soon as you connect it to this TCM the power will drop you notice a significant voltage drop you're not even going to get up to one voltage there I did remember vividly that I actually pulled this is the wiring harness and those are the two wires which I'm talking about that you need to test out here. This is the ground wire and this is the power that supplies the that supplies the uh, the TCM. So I need to find out exactly where the relay for this very uh, for this very wire is because I need to track it if it goes up here. I need to find it because it will actually be what is actually creating this mess because most of the times it comes and it goes. So here, uh, come on help me with this camera. So I want to test it again. My multimeter set to 12 volts range. go ahead and test it and because at this very point now I have uh, disconnected the is the TCM so these ground wires are all pretty much the same so I'm gonna pinch one of them here this will never be a ground wire problem and uh, wow this is funny are you serious let me check it again because I did check here and check here and I'm getting 12 volts uh, if you look at it from my multimeter right there so I want to test the main ground that supplies that uh, TCM there and look if I'm gonna get 12 volts because if I don't get 12 volts there there is a huge voltage drop it could actually be from the ground at this very point here I'm a little bit confused I'm only going to follow what I'm getting from my test uh, uh, multimeter so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, it's supposed to be true that just come out of here as feeding the TCM so I want to test it and be absolutely sure wow this is crazy so I'm gonna try to unwrap this Okay, now I found the two. 
we're supposed to be going to the Etisian, so I'm gonna pinch one of them here. Oh, this is sharp. Pinch one of them here. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, test the power there. Okay. Come on again. And lo and behold, you're getting 12 volts there. So, which means the feed here is kind of okay. But, when once, let me go over here, over here. Let me plug this back here. If I still test the power between here, it's also give me 12 volts. So, when I plug it back to the... I'll go ahead and plug it back. Push this for you if you are doing this to take this off is very simple you just need to be pulling this out pulling it until the end like this when it reaches the end then this clip should be able to come off by itself all right so it reaches the end like this then you should be able to come off so to put it back is still the same just put it set it and start pressing it to take it in now let's go over here and take the power, they take the measurement on the power again. You can see it, what we're having there is uh, 300 to 290 millivolts. That's very, very low. It's not even up to a volt. So I think there is, there could be a relay problem, but I didn't know exactly the relay that's controlling the TCM here. So let me, I'm gonna be going over here now and pull out some of these relays. Why I performed the 12 volt test, I'm gonna disconnect that there. Okay. Disconnect this, disconnect this. Finish on the valve. Yeah, I don't mind. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and test this. Okay, I'm still getting 300 millivolt here. So I'm go ahead, this one is a little bit off. I'm gonna get this one out. I'll go ahead and test it again. At this time, the voltage remain constant. It's still the same, so I'm gonna put this thing back here. But now I'm having a different mist feeling. The mist feelings I'm having here is: could a 40 TCM actually be draining, causing a voltage drop? That is possible. And uh, over to the other side, uh, the other side of the, the other side of the, uh, the other side of the dash, I am not seeing any issues. All the fuses there are in a good condition. These are all power fuses that I'm removing right here. So, do drop me a comment here if suppose you find uh, you come across this kind of a problem, intermittent, uh, no communication with ECM, TCM, uh, the code is always 0, U0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. I think that, that's it. I found something like that before. I've uh, treated something like this before, but I wiggled some of these fuses and uh, came back. Well, this time... Uh, maybe I have to go a little bit more deeper to know actually, but it would have been very very helpful if suppose I have the wiring diagram so I can be able to trace it and know exactly where the power came from because I'm certain the power somewhere is missing. It could be a corrosion. It could be anything. Right? Corrosion can actually cause a kind of a problem like that. But at this very moment here, well, what I'm what I'm going to be doing next here, I pretty much to open this up, which is being held in place by this uh, one here. Then try to trace this power line that comes through here. Let me disconnect. Go ahead and uh, remove the get the key out of the ignition. I'm gonna get this battery here and start to trace it. So if you really want to follow up, you wanna subscribe to my channel. It's a, Okay. 
Go and subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll keep you updated on however it goes.